Okay, today we're going to look at this formula here that we're going to be spending some time on in some videos. That's Q is equal to MC delta T. Now this is commonly referred to as our heat formula. And we're going to look at, briefly, each of the four variables, one, two, three, four, that this heat formula is comprised of. So let's look at this first one here, Q. Q is your heat energy. And it is measured in joules. Some problems you will see kilojoules, and a kilojoule is basically 1,000 joules. Most of the problems that, that I'm looking at will involve joules. Okay, so next variable, M. M is your mass, and mass will be measured or given as either grams or kilograms. And again, kilo, 1,000, you have 1,000 grams is equivalent to one kilogram. So sometimes we'll have to do some converting back and forth between those two units. Our C, now C is our specific heat capacity. It is our constant in our formula, specific heat capacity. And these are values that we simply are looking up. Okay, there'll be a standards chart, and they are uh, determined, predetermined values, and uh, it's a kind of a crazy looking unit, and it looks like this, joules over grams degrees Celsius. And what that represents, what that tells you is how much energy, how much heat energy in joules it takes one gram of a substance to increase or decrease one degree Celsius. And that's what that's saying. So, for instance, if something, I believe, aluminum, just randomly picking aluminum. I just did a problem here a minute ago with aluminum. So aluminum, the specific heat capacity, the constant for aluminum is decimal, zero, decimal 880. So what that, if you were to translate that into a sentence, you would say it takes decimal 88 joules to increase one gram of aluminum, one degree Celsius. Or you could flip it around and say um, there are decimal 88 joules of heat energy lost when one gram of aluminum drops one degree Celsius. So that's what this here represents. Okay, and delta T is our temperature final minus temperature initial and we are using the metric system here, so for the most part, for the most part, you will see your temperature values expressed in degrees Celsius. Okay, but of course, you can have them in Fahrenheit, and then of course, you would convert to degrees Celsius. Okay, and we will be doing some of those later some conversions back and forth from Celsius to Fahrenheit. But um, yeah, that is our formula. We're going to spend some time um, over the next period of time, period of a few days. You'll notice my dates and my, and my um, uploads. And we're going to work on some, some heat formulas. And we're going to look um, specifically at solving, let's say, for Q. And then we'll isolate M. And then we'll do C. And then we'll do delta T. And then we'll further look at delta T. And we'll find uh, examples of problems in which you're looking for the final temperature and the initial temperature, and they require sometimes a little bit of extra work. Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, if there are any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, thank you, and have a great day.